hey guys welcome to digit and in this video we are going to be looking at the corsair dominator platinum rgb memory module and how we can go about updating the firmware of the memory module now the firmware for memory modules consists of several things you have new spd profiles if they've been validated at the factory and then you have the firmware regarding the rgb led profiles and the manner in which they respond to the iq software now before we can get on to updating the firmware we need the iq software now iq is sort of a corsair interface for everything that they come up with be it keyboards mice memory modules coolers anything that has corsair rgb uh, or if uh, requires firmware upgrades through the corsair system all of that is delivered through the iq interface now here we are on the home screen and the home screen we can see the dominator platinum rgb icon over here once you click that you can open up and see all your temperature specs as well as all the different lighting mechanisms on the left hand side we are not concerned with any of that we are trying to upgrade the firmware in order to do that move to the settings tab at the top now it defaults to the very first device we are not concerned with that right now move to the second device that is the dominator platinum rgb memory module here you get one slider to adjust the brightness of the memory modules you can see that once we pull it all the way down the brightness becomes way lesser let's jack it up for the purpose of this video then you have a little checkbox to enable full software control we are not concerned with that either and lastly we have the firmware version that's currently installed on the memory module now we've just updated the memory module but we can force the update all over again so that you can see how it works in order to update just click on this one button and it does everything on its own now you can either use a firmware image that is if corsair has given you a separate firmware file Usually, when you speak to the support team, you get that. If not, you can get the update directly from their servers and you can force update. Now, this gives a little warning because we are already on the particular update that we're trying to use again. That is 1.03.26. But we'll force update it anyways, just so that you can see how the process is. Click on update. Can see a small progress bar it's basically downloading the firmware version from the server and it's pushing it onto the update modules in the right hand side on the example you can see that one of the memory modules has turned down and now the second memory module has turned around you can see a different profile showing that it is currently being updated once both memory modules are completely updated, it will switch back to the default profile that you set in the IQ software. Now it's done. Click on the memory module and you can see that the firmware is 1.03.26, which is the same, but all the LED writings on the right hand side has now reverted back to normal, telling you that the firmware upgrade is complete. So that's how you upgrade the firmware of your Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB memory modules. Thank you for watching.